Hello Fantasy RP Gamers, Menacer here, your favorite Mega Mecha pilot. Today, we're going to talk about Feng Shui 2, a theater of the mind fantasy role-playing game. This RPG is meant to be played without master minis, but if you do use maps, they should be crude and able to be updated on the fly because the players contribute to the scene details. The fact that everyone participates in what the scene looks like and how things unfold is what I like so much about this game. Playing Feng Shui 2 will help expand your creativity and will increase your use of imagination in any game you play. Which is more interesting? I rolled a 17, so I hit him with my sword. Or, my smackdown is 17. I parry his advancing blow and spin around, surprising him with a counter as my blade strikes through the gap in his armor. That's right, in Feng Shui 2 you are encouraged to be very descriptive. When your smackdown is incredibly high, you are further encouraged to describe things as outlandishly as you want, bending the laws of reality even to the breaking point. If it can happen in a movie, or in an anime, it can happen in Feng Shui 2. Feng Shui 2 was created by Robin D. Laws and is published by Atlas Games. Aside from buying it direct from Atlas Games, you can get it from online stores, and don't forget, you can order it through your community's local gaming store. Robin D. Laws was inspired by his love of 90s-era Hong Kong action films to create this game. In such films, bullets are everywhere, fists and blades are flying, and people are bending spoons with the power of their mind. The hero could be a down-on-his-luck cop, a soft-spoken but hard-striking sensei, or the hero could be someone who is a villain and is trying to do the right thing this time around. In these films, the heroes are good at action, and they look good doing it. Feng Shui 2 is heavily Asian-flavored, and primarily takes place in modern Hong Kong. But, once you understand the system, and the archetypes, and the laws of physics bending rules, there is no reason why you can't set this game anywhere and any when that you like. Keep in mind that just because the heroes are all good at action, that doesn't mean they always win by the old Disney sense of the word. Like I said, Feng Shui 2 is heavily Asian flavored and many of the inspiring movies behind this game have what Americans might call a sad ending, but what 90s era Hong Kong movie enthusiasts call heroic bloodshed. Many times the characters of these movies win by getting the one result they truly cared about at the cost of their life. For this character, this is their happy ending. Don't worry, in Feng Shui 2, we can still have old Disney happily ever after stories too. In this series of videos, I will explain the rules of Feng Shui 2 and introduce you to the character archetypes. I will also go over the official settings with you and the powers that be within them, but don't forget, you can set this game anywhere and any when that your creativity guides you. And don't forget to bring at least a modicum of the descriptive game elements you pick up here to other games you play.